How's it going, guys? So it's been a little while since I've done a video. Um, well, I guess it's not been that long. It's been about a week. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go on vacation, so I wanted to get a video done here real quick. Um, just going to do a quick one here. It's going to be a quick review video, um, as you saw from the description in the title. Uh, this is on a Chinese microphone. So um, I took a risk. Well, actually, I really didn't take a risk. So here recently, I was needing a, a new... Uh, shock mount for a condenser mic and I was needing a, a, a boom to mount on a desk or something like that to, to do some voiceover work and stuff like that with it. Um, so I decided to uh, start looking around on Amazon and I came across this Zing Yu, I don't know if that's correct or not, uh, condenser microphone. Um, I'll show it to you here in a second. And I wasn't going to buy it, but it was a kit. It came with a microphone. Uh, cable, which I didn't use because it's it's not a balanced cable, the boom uh, bracket and stand, uh, and a brand new shock mount, all for thirty five dollars. Uh, Mike also has a pop filter on it too. Um, I bought all of this for thirty five bucks. In reality, when I was looking around, I was just needing the the shock mount because the shock mount I have for my NT one and stuff like it's getting a little eh, falling apart some, and uh, I would have spent 35 to 40 bucks on a new shock mount and boom arm anyway. So I was like, well, why not get a free mic out of it, I guess. So this is what I got. I'm actually recording the audio with this right now. Uh, it's the Zing Yu, whatever the heck this thing is. It is a condenser mic. Um, does require uh, phantom power, 48 volt. Um, now it comes with a, a little dongle here, a USB to... It's basically a little USB sound card. Um, I just dropped it. And a cable that goes from this mic to that unit. However, that unit doesn't supply phantom power. It only supplies like a couple volts, two or three volts, which is enough to make this mic work. Does it make it work very well? No, not at all. Um, so I'll throw the picture up here of the Amazon item that I purchased. Um, as you can see there, it comes with the whole kit. It says that, you know, all you have to do is plug this uh, dongle in and then plug the uh, uh, plug the uh, microphone in using that, that cable they provided, but it, it's really a piece of junk. Uh, the sound coming out of it is horrible, real low level, not really usable. But if you take this mic and you plug it in with phantom power, it actually doesn't sound bad. Um, so I'll do a couple little comparisons here. This is the Zing Yu mic right now I'm talking with. Here in just a second, I'll swap out my Rode NT1, which is pretty much the industry, tra industry standard for entry-level condenser mics. Um, I say entry-level, but even a lot of professionals use NT1s for recording, uh, for voiceover, for all kinds of stuff. So I'll swap it out here in a second. We can get a little bit of uh, comparison on the, the difference. But yeah, just right off, this is the this is the sound of the mic. Um, I don't think it sounds bad. I've heard a lot of bad mics before, and this one's not too bad. Um, it does, the, it's not a perfectly flat EQ curve, anything like that. Um, I don't have any way to test it with pink noise right now, but um, it's not bad. I mean, you could easily do some good voiceover work with it. You get into it, you know, with a good pop filter and things like that, you could actually make it sound, uh, I think, really, really good. Um, is it something to, uh, to uh, just drop everything and go by? Eh, I don't know. But if you're looking for a, a condenser mic to get you started with some voiceover work, um, or even just re like recording, you know, overdubbing things on YouTube videos, for example, like what I'm doing here, um, it's not bad. It works really well. Um, you do need a, a phantom power supply of some sort to provide pa phantom power to it. I am using the, but I'm using the Behringer UMC 202 HD, which is providing my phantom power and uh, level control and stuff like that. Uh, but you don't need anything quite this fancy. You can just use a regular good old fashioned uh, USB audio recording interface that's got phantom power with it or uh, there's a bunch of different ones out there that you can buy, but uh, this one works pretty well for me. I mainly bought this because it's got the 192 kilohertz sound card in it. So when I'm outputting to my uh, studio monitors in here, it gives me it's a little bit extra clarity uh, rather than just a 44 one uh, interface. So like I said, this is the uh, the Zing Yu microphone here. Uh, not sounding too bad. It works pretty well. Uh, let me swap out and let's take a listen to the uh, Rode NT1 and see if we can kind of tell a bit of a difference. 
All right, so here is the Rode NT1. Um, you probably hear a little bit of a difference. I also have my professional pop filter on this as well. Um, this is an original Rode NT1 made in Australia. It does have the handwritten serial number, if you can see it there. But uh, yeah, this is the this is the Rode NT1. Uh, I'll let you guys make the sound comparison difference and stuff like that. But this is the Rode NT1, uh, one of the most famous industry standard uh, condenser mics for voiceover work. Um, so yeah, this is just a test one two, test one two. Hope this uh, hope this sounds okay. Um, I'll let you guys, I'll let, I'll let the comparisons come up to you guys. If you guys like this or you don't, yeah, that's up to you. Uh, leave it in the comments, tell me what you think. But uh, for a $35 mic with a stand, uh, basically everything you need to get started, this thing is not bad. But when it comes down to a true professional voiceover mic, I would say it's probably not the best. So compared to a nice large diaphragm condenser like this here, it's a big difference in the actual quality. So. Quick video, uh, of course, like and subscribe. I've got more stuff coming along, but I just kind of wanted to, to point this uh, mic out a little bit since I, uh, I had had it laying around. I don't really use it, but I could if I needed to. Uh, it will it will do the job. So, other than that, uh, that's it for the video. Uh, again, if you like the video, please subscribe, tell your friends, share it, whatever you want to do. Uh, hopefully, somebody will find it useful down the road. So. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.